You and I both. Well, and I'm your if, man, I'm I'm mayor, if I'm elected mayor, if I'm elected mayor of Funtown, stocks will become optional for every citizen. If I'm elected mayor, I will, I'm like if I will be the mayor if of I'm Funtown. Mayor, more, more school. What do you think of that? Town, every school will have a pool, and that rhymes. Now get out of here. We got a show to do. Well, I'm elected, man. It is. You won't be on the show anymore. Out of here. Excuse yeah. me. Where's Thackeray, and who are you? I'm Wilbur. You're Wilbur. Yeah, I'm Thackeray's twin brother. You? I didn't know he had a twin. Yeah. Well, I was carried off by an eagle when <laughs> we were young. Man, bro. Car Okay, we're uh, halfway there. Vote I could for never vote for a man who signed Paul's death. I wouldn't vote for him. So well, where's I'm Thackeray? If head you're head his brother. Who, where's All Thackeray? All the way to the end, me. Well, Tha Help Thackeray's out working for the present mayor. He's campaigning for him and not me? Yeah, but he sent me. I'm going to be your campaign manager. Oh, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> this Hope is for him. He's good. Thackeray's Wilbur. twin, Wilbur. I'm so happy about that. And you know Al, who's been sent by the station to uh, keep an eye on things. Uh, of course, my name is Stan. Stan for mayor, that's me. And uh, I guess the only thing normal today is the pink gorilla. Do not be alarmed. He's, a, he's supposed to be here. On the show today, we are not only having elections, but we are going to have right here in the studio, supermodel Monica Schneer. She's going to be here. Al, me. And also, we're going to meet this doll. In real life, her name is Brooke Thies, and she's on Just the Ten of Us, and she's also the model for Maxi. How about a hand for the Something Else Orchestra, who are supporting my campaign? Wilbur? Wilbur? Yep. Uh, off the desk, one of Thackeray's jobs. Well, I assume, it's cleaning up. It's cleaning up, but yeah, while I the show's lift. on, the main job is to open the door for guests. And we have a guest here, and I'd like to introduce her, so that if you would mind. That must be the international spokesperson for the Al for Mayor the, campaign. No, it is not. It's yes, got it nothing to do with your campaign for her. Mayor. My personal, Please uh, welcome young and beautiful supermodel Monica Schneer. Oh, you want to get the door. Executive there she Monica. is, Monica Schneer. <laughs> Monica, how's it going? So nice to see you. Wilbur? How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? How's Not things going in the international scene, huh? Oh, Honey. Great, great. All right, are we pulling in the flank, huh? Yeah, we All are. right, we're taking it. Me and You Lana. are not working for Al, are you? No. I would expect your vote well, for me, so, for Mayor, you so. you, Monica. Your mom said you would. Well, now, that's the moment to well, go to you. So both of you, this looks like a frail young lady who, I mean, she's, she's skin and bones and all, and she needs some patting up, or she's going to get down on the farm and help out with the hay, and, and I don't think you should be putting pressure on her by involving her in your election. Who okay, you? all right, who Al, I think that's fair. She's a guest on who the show. She won't be involved oh, in the election. Well, that makes everything all different. He's now, Zachary's brother. Twins? Don't say that! I'm sorry, I'm you sorry. You know how I am about brother. Al is looking I'm, I'm uh, for his if missing If he was brother. here, he'd win. Maybe friend. Wilbur is, is I him. I my brother's friend. Oh, no. If you're out there, okay, folks, Al. see my brother's friend. Al. Vote for me, because I'm going to be the man. Al. Take it away. Tell you what. If you can fix the air conditioning here in Funtown, I may vote for you for mayor. Let's get the switches. Where's the switches <laughs> for the thing here? Let's okay, we got rid of him. Here. Now, Monica. Yeah. Tell me, first of all, about Supermodel. Well, you were very young and you became very famous very quickly. <laughs> I was 14 when I won this contest, and um, it runs every year. And 26 countries are represented, and about 250,000 entries each year. 250,000 entries. Girls try to win this? From mm. around the world. And then well, it gets narrowed down to 26 countries. Did you have to become the Canadian winner first before uh -huh. you went on? In some countries, there's a big hoopla and there's a big contest like the States. In Canada, we just pick someone. Um, the Fords, Eileen Ford comes up here, and she, she picks someone. Not a big contest, and I was picked. But you were picked. Now, you went and competed and won, and how has that changed your life? You were still in high school, or were you in high school? I guess you were 14. I had just started grade 9 when I won. So you're like this young teenager, and suddenly you're an international celebrity. How did you cope with that? Well, um... 
having a good family background was, was really important because I could always come home when things got tough in New York, the big apple. New York. And <laughs> what the buffalo one. <laughs> but um, it, w it was really hard, you know, being that young. And I guess now I realize I was a bit young. But uh, it opened a lot of doors for me. How old are you now? I just turned 18. And you still look good. I mean, you have, you've aged well. Oh, thank you. Um, I just, you know, I'm not over the hill yet? No, I think you look great. And you're about to go to L.A. You're going to move to L.A. to yeah. be an actress. And I guess we could talk about that. But right now we have to break okay. for a commercial. Uh, Wilbur, this is yep. where Zachary usually cleans up. Oh, we uh, will be right back with supermodel Monica Schneer. And by the end of the show, we will have the election results on something else. Picking themselves up to look nice for you. I think they may Aww. think that you're going to do lunch with them or something. <laughs> uh, let's go right to the audience for some questions. This has nothing to do with the campaign premiere. This is for Monica Schneer. And what a lovely poem that was. Uh, first question. Well, that would be these people, would it? Uh, yes, Wilbur. You oh, just hold right. the mic and they ask. Well, were you surprised when you first became a model? Yeah, I was actually because, you know, growing up tall and feeling really ugly about yourself, you never think that one day you, you might be on a magazine cover, so it was a big surprise. I grew up short and felt yeah? the same way. <laughs> yes. And who wants a short mare? Keep that in mind, voters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, what made you want to be a model? What made me? What well, made you? What made you go into the contest in the first place, other than being tall? Well, I never thought I could model, so I, I walked into modeling agencies because I wanted to take a self-improvement course. I had low self-esteem, and so I, I went in, and I just, as a result of that, was entered in the contest. So um, it, it wasn't that I wanted to become a model. It just sort of happened. And you've been since on, like, zillions of magazine covers. A few. A few. <laughs> yeah, like a zillion. Okay, uh, next question. You're so modest. Do you still go to school? I just last week graduated from high school, grade 13. Grade 13. Yeah. And now you're going to move to Los Angeles and yeah. try your hand at acting. Uh huh. Now, are, uh, doesn't that make you nervous about the. It's, it's kind of a new venture, isn't it? Acting? It is. Well, for the past year, I've been doing a few things. I, I did a series called Friday the 13th, and that was my first acting job. And um, it's not really new, it's been about a year now. Next question. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> um. No. Would not. you like one? Well, depending. <laughs> well, if I don't win the mayoralty, I have a little free time. Okay. So. Um, you want that man for you, man? Well, Listen to what he's saying, people. One, one of the things you've done is you were in a rock and roll video. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about it? Sure. Um, they called me up and said, hey, do you want to you be a photographer in a video? And I said, yeah, that's a switch. You know, I'm usually in front of the camera. And I said, let's do it. And I happen to know it's bright and rock, and it's called One More Try, and we have it. Here it is. All right.
campaigning, I have to stay at the desk, and you shouldn't do campaign right now. Speaking of models, may I have my doll for just a sec? This is, it may not look like her, but this is actually Brooke Thies. She's not only Wendy on Just the Ten of Us, she's also the model for these dolls, and her name is Brooke Thies, and here's an interview with her, and you can play with my doll okay. now if you like. Thank you. Brooke, is it fun working on a show like The Ten of Us? Yeah, it's lots of fun. Um, we have a great time because there's so many of us, and it's just like this big family, and we go to work, and it's, you know, it's a big party. It's great. It's now, fun. at the beginning, I would assume you all walk in as strangers. Yeah. And suddenly, you have to become a family for the TV audience. Yeah. So how do you do that? Well, I don't know. We really lucked out because um, I feel that we came to the first table reading, we all sat down and we just kind of meshed. Everybody just got along with everybody and the next day we were all ready to work and we were just just friends. It was great. It worked out really well. I think we, we got really lucky because you hear these horror stories about, oh, I hate this, nah, nah, you know, but we're just, you know, we have a great time and we're all friends. How, how did you get started in the business? Well, um... You were very ugly as a kid, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just call me Miss Gawk. <laughs> Long, toothpick legs, you know, <laughs> the whole story. Um, when I was about seven, I would imagine, I started to ask my mom to get me into commercials because she was a model and an actress in New York, and she kind of hesitated because she thought maybe I was trying to play mommy or be like mommy because I used to look through her book, her, through her book and, uh, and I just kept asking her, and, and I used to, like, advertise products in the bathroom and stuff in the mirror. And so finally, when I turned 12, I kept, I never stopped, you know, ha hassling her about it. So she said, all right. So she got me an agent, and that's how basically... Do you feel lucky now? Because a lot of people would like to trade places with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, extremely lucky. I just I feel God has really blessed me in, in many ways. He's really just kind of handed it to me. No, he didn't hand it to me. I take you that You had to work for it I a bit. I had to work for it, but... He gave you certain yeah. attributes yeah. and things that helped, I guess. Yeah. Now, what yeah. about Boris? Is, does he play a big role Boris. in your life? Yes, he does, actually. I just he's got not going to attack me, is he? No. <laughs> Can I, will he bite me or anything? No, if he's I... got real sharp claws, though. Oh, well, that's good to know. Can I pick him up by his tail or no. will that hurt him? No. Okay, I won't. I he'll he'll drop him. his there tail. There he is. There's Boris. This is Boris, my iguana. Um, I kind of got him because <laughs> I like reptiles. So. <laughs> and, uh, Typical all-American girl. <laughs> The girl next no, door and her reptile. American girl. No, I thought it would be kind of cool because people would come over here and just go, oh, what's that in your cage? Oh, it's my iguana. And take them out. You know, people would think I was really weird. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> <laughs> So does he protect you now? Is he like a watch iguana? No, no. He just kind of sits in his cage and eats his bananas. That's what he eats. I guess that's what iguanas do. I have to ask you about okay. my doll. Okay. Because I'm told that this is you. Is this, you are Maxie? Yes, I am Maxie. In addition to being on Just the Ten of Us, you are the Maxie doll? The Maxie doll. doll, yeah. I do all the commercials, and I also tour the country, and I go and I speak to, uh, like, Girl Scouts and Girl Troops and, uh, like, the YMCA and things like that. It's a lot of fun because I love kids, so it's kind of, it's kind of oh. up my alley. Oh, Maxie come on, over. come on, Maxie. Sit still, Maxie. Is Sit Maxie there. sort of your California-type... Yeah, girl. she's 16, and uh, what they tried to do is they really felt there was a void, Hasbro. Hasbro felt there was a, a void in the market because the other doll is, uh, we won't mention any names, but the other doll is... She just had a midlife crisis. Yeah, right? yeah, she's a little older, and she has a career and a job. And they really, they went out and they asked little girls what they wanted, and they said, well, we want a teenage doll because that's the next step. That's the next level for them. They don't dream about getting a job and having a career. They dream about going to the prom and having a boyfriend and getting a car, you know, and getting their license. And that's what Maxie does. You know, she drives in her little Jeep and she's got her friends and she goes to the mall and eats pizza with her boyfriend and things that a 16-year-old does. And that's where she really uh, comes into play. Now, when you were a little girl, did you play with iguanas or dolls like this? No, I played with more baby dolls. I didn't, I didn't play with... Uh, Barbie dolls. I played with like, the human size and little baby dolls because I, I like to pretend that I was mom. Do you get recognized a lot? No. No? No, no. I think I look very different than uh, I do as my character because I have little ringlets and in my hair and I think I look a lot younger. I hope. Well, you're to, supposed yeah, to because you're playing to. someone. That's my whole, my whole thing. And I don't, I don't dress like Wendy. I dress more, I don't know, I just dress differently. Um, 
But I do get recognized, surprisingly enough, because cause I don't feel like I look like Wendy in real life. What would you like to do in the future? Have you set any goals? Would you like to play Hamlet? No. Well, I don't know why. No. <laughs> no, I'd like to do some, some serious films in the future. I'd like to do some fun films, some like teeny bopper films, but I like to do good stuff. You know, I don't, I, I, I don't want to choose anything that um, is not of quality just because it's there and it's tempting to take the work. But uh, I, I'd like to do some serious films is what I really would like to do. Okay, well, I, I have to go, and I just had this inspiration that if we left the maxi doll here, you could come with me. Do you think that's a possibility? Sounds great to me. You take Boris? Uh, well, actually, I guess I'll, uh, Boris can stay, and I'll just take the maxi doll. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Boris. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, Rufus no is awake because he's looking forward to the election results because he wants to be the first dog of Funtown. And if I'm the mayor, that will be his job. You've had your picture taken probably thousands of times. Do you take pictures yourself? I do, yeah. Are I you have good a at it? Is photography a hobby well, of yours? Well, in the book I just wrote, I took a lot of the pictures. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and what's the book about? It's about the business, um, the modeling business and perspective of a 13 to 16 year old. Now, is it warning people to stay away from it or to uh, encourage people or what's, it, uh, what's the idea? It weighs the pros and cons, it tells the good and bad and lets the kids decide if it's, it's, if it's something in fact that they want to get into. So you don't help, or you help them make the decision but you don't try to lean them either way. Right. You say this is good, this is bad. Right. Uh, what are the bad points of it that you haven't liked? Um, Basically the loneliness, just traveling by yourself, going to Paris, such a beautiful city, and being all alone. <laughs> well, Election you do have my number. Yes, Next yes, time you're going to Paris, much, then you, you don't have to be. Oh, this is it. I won. Did I win? Zachary, welcome back. Win? Your, no, your brother I'm Wilbur was me. here. You missed him. Oh, These yeah. are the election results. Let's have them quickly because we're running out of time on the get show. Already, and I better get already. right over to City Hall because oh, if I'm going to be the Who won? You've started campaigning today. The elections were held yesterday. I'm afraid the incumbent mayor is back in. Way to go, Al. You got the dates mixed up and we both campaigned on the wrong day. And I could have won. Thank you, Monica. Good luck with the future. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.